I started my career literally as a two weeks out of college as an entrepreneur. I started the retail business with a friend from college in Atlanta. Uh, we grew it to four locations and 100 employees. And uh, it was just such a life changing experience as, as a young adult starting my professional career. And what I connected with, of course, uh, was kind of the power of people and, 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 and talent, the, implica- the impact that a talented individual can have on an organization, not to mention just working with the public and those kind of things. So that was the first six years of my career. And then uh, ultimately, because we didn't have any retail experience, we did not make it. Retail is a tough business, but after we, the, the business closed, we I got into executive recruiting. So again, somewhat of a non-traditional path which took me overseas. Uh, I have since worked for in more traditional human resources roles like, you know, recruiting and talent management and, and being an employee relations uh, professional, those kind of things. But I've worked for a number of different companies, uh, big and small, including Coca-Cola there in Atlanta and um, Care USA, which is a nonprofit organization headquartered there. And so then when um, I decided to go out on my own, which has been three years ago now, I kind of sat back and looked at all my experiences that I've had and said, I've had the good fortune to work in a lot of different areas of human resources, not just, you know, recruiting or not just kind of being uh, employee relations. And so I think what I can bring to the table working with uh, organizations that are going through transformation is that holistic view of what they're trying to do with effectively their most important asset, which is their people. Yeah. So that's been, and somewhere mixed in there has been um, six years in Europe and uh, working in West Africa, being deployed to Haiti after the earthquake in 2010. So I've, I've had a really just interesting, amazing career and I feel very gratified. And again, it's, it's been fun to kind of take it now and apply it uh, to, in the in the world of human resources consulting. So I know we're going to talk about performance management, but but maybe a good starting place. Why do you see that as such an important area that leaders need to be keeping on their radar? Because I don't hear a lot of leaders, even senior teams, talk about it as much as they could or should. They just seem so caught up in the day-to-day fires, which anyone who's listened to the show has heard me say repeatedly, we live in a world where everything's urgent all the time. And when that happens, a lot of really important things that we should be doing can get thrown to the side. So given all your experience, Wills, why why is performance management such an important thing we need to keep top of mind? Well, I think uh, we all need a true north. And especially if you're a member of a team in an organization, again, just like you said, everything's urgent all the time. There's a million things coming at you. At the end of the day, you need to know where what's important, what does success look like? Obviously, in terms of your own personal development, where, you know, where is your career going? And so what I've seen over my career is that it's done, you know, like you said, either the process is very um, much of a rubber stamp, you know, they just do it because they have to check the box or they have t- people have too many goals, they don't have enough goals, they're not clear. So I just find that, you know, back to the basics, clear communication, knowing what your true north is, aligning your team, uh, it's just so powerful and can help you be much more effective and um, successful, I think, as a leader. 